this thing on? Are we recording? Yo, what's going on? My name is Teacher Michael. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought that I would share with you uh, a little sneak peek of how I record my podcast. And for those of you who didn't know that I have a podcast, I have a podcast. It's called Extra Credit with Teacher Michael, and it's where I interview a bunch of different online teachers. So I'm going to share with you a 10 minute clip of my most recent episode with VIP Kid teacher Brittany. And Brittany also happens to be a podcast host. She has a podcast called the At Home Educator Podcast. So if you haven't heard either one of our podcasts, this is going to be a great introduction to you, to both of us. So I hope you enjoy. And if you do want to hear the full episode, you can head on over to iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, basically anywhere where you can find podcasts and uh, look it up. I'm also going to leave the links in the description, but that's all from me. Enjoy this little uh, clip of the Extra Credit Podcast with Teacher Brittany. Uh, okay, look at you. Look at you showing up early a little bit, a couple minutes. <laughs> Brittany, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today. How's everything going? How's your day? Okay, I'm wait, so I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm actually going to stop for one sec right while we're at the beginning because I think your mic just jumped over to a different mic than what you just had. I've done that before. I recorded a whole episode with um, Jennifer Anderson, and then I listened back to it, and I was like, I did not turn my mic on for that whole episode. It was just going through my like my laptop's uh, external microphone. She sounded great, but I was like, I was not happy with my own audio. <laughs> Uh, okay, take two. Here we go. Brittany, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast. How are you today? I am good. Thank you for having me. Um, I am very excited to be here. <laughs> I'm also very excited to speak with you. And this is not the first time I've spoken with you. Uh, most of the time, I'm meeting my guests for the first time live on the podcast. But I also, I had the pleasure of being on your podcast uh, back in the summer. So uh, it's nice to hear your voice again. And I would love to take a minute just at the beginning here for you to introduce yourself to the listeners who may not know who you are. Yeah, so my name is Brittany. I am a teacher with VIP Kid, and I've been with the company officially for one year now. Um, and I also have an Instagram. Um, I love to make digital resources for teachers. And what takes up most of my time outside of teaching is creating another podcast. So, and that's the podcast that you were on. So that's what I do. <laughs> yes. And the name of that podcast is? The name of that podcast is the At Home Educator Podcast. Incredible. So we are definitely going to talk about your podcast and the types of things that you talk about in the podcast. But um, before we get into any of that, I would love to know, I've got a sort of a three-part question here. I'd love to know how, why, and when you got into the world of online teaching. And I guess you already answered when, um, but how how and why? Okay, um, so I was a brick and mortar teacher. I taught middle schoolers for about two years. So not very long, but about two years um, right after college. And then after those two years, I found out that I was pregnant with my first daughter. Um, and so I decided that I was going to stay home once I had her. And actually, when I announced that I was going to be leaving, one of the parents of the students that I was teaching emailed me about VIP Kid. Um, so I saw the email, I opened it up, and I actually applied a lot earlier than I started. Uh, so I applied in like November, but I didn't start teaching until December of 2017. No. 2018. Yeah, 2018. Um, and so, yeah, I've been at it for about a year, like I said, and uh, I started teaching just because I wanted to stay home. And it was a way to stay in the classroom in some way, shape or form. But uh, I could I could stay home with my daughter. So it was exciting. And I'm going to make the assumption that you have been enjoying it, but I would love to hear from you. How has it been going in the first year as compared to being in a brick and mortar classroom? Yeah, I have definitely enjoyed it. Um, it's very different from being in a brick and mortar classroom. 
Uh, there are some things that I miss about being in a normal classroom, and there are some things that I don't miss uh, that VIP Kid has made a little easier for me. So, uh, but for the most part, I've I've really enjoyed it. It's super fun, and, and I've loved almost every second of it. <laughs> and what are some of those things that you miss from the brick and mortar classroom? Um, I would say that the the thing that I miss most is like. I don't know how to explain it, like the downtime that you have with your students as a brick and mortar teacher. When you're teaching online, especially with like VIP Kid, uh, you have those 25 minutes and you've got to get everything done within those 25 minutes. But when you're a brick and mortar teacher, you have a lot more time to get to know your students and interact with them. Um, And I really kind of miss that, like building more of that rapport with them. I would say that's the thing that I miss the most. Right. I understand that. Those sort of those down down moments when you can just ask them about their lives or, you know, the sports team that they're on or casual chit chat. You're kind of right that when when the clock starts at VIP Kid, it's like you're on for 25 minutes and you kind of have to stay on task a little bit because you don't have a ton of time. So I totally I get that for sure. Um, If we can get into this territory, what are some things you don't miss from brick and mortar? Hmm. Um, (laughs) that's a good question. (laughs) What I don't miss from brick and mortar teaching, uh, number one is probably grading because grading is, it took up so much time. Um, and then the other one that I kind of miss and don't miss at the same time is like, uh, lesson planning. I'm the kind of person who like loves to plan things. Like I love making charts and tables and templates and like writing things down and planning things out. But at the same time, it was really, really time consuming. So I kind of miss that, but I also kind of don't miss it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I hear you. I get it. Like I hear that from a lot of people and I have never been really in the position where I was a full-time brick and mortar teacher. So I don't I don't quite understand the uh, the time that it takes to grade papers and create lesson plans and things like that. But it's certainly a thing that I hear time and time again from people like, Love not having to do a lot of that kind of stuff because uh, it is time consuming. Um, I would love to switch gears if we could and kind of talk about your podcast a little bit more. It's not every day that I get to speak to a fellow podcast host. So why don't you explain to the listeners kind of what the focus of your podcast is and, um, and also how it's evolved from season one to season two, which you're currently in. Yeah, so I initially started the podcast as kind of a way to reach out to new teachers and kind of um, share my experience in working with VIP Kid. Um, If anybody has already listened, they know that I had kind of a rocky start. Um, (laughs) I missed a few classes in the beginning. I got super sick and had to cancel. So it was a little crazy. And I, I just wanted to make sure that people didn't feel like alone because you see a lot of super great success stories, but you don't hear a lot of like trials and tribulations. So I just wanted to share that with people. And initially it was geared towards um, more new teachers or people who hadn't quite yet heard about the company. Um, But recently I've kind of made a shift uh, into doing more I want to say it's more like a kind of like a professional development feel or like a a deep dive into subjects that we as online teachers or parents might come into contact with a lot or questions that we might have. Um, And so that's kind of what it's evolved into. It's kind of evolved into uh, me coming up with questions in my head and me being like, hmm, other people probably have that question too, and then researching it and sharing it on the podcast. That's what it's kind of turned into. (laughs) <laughs> That's awesome. And I, I love how it's evolved and the direction that it is going. But um, one thing that you said early in your answer is that uh, you were trying to help other people not feel alone. And I think that's kind of, that's a feeling that a lot of people have when they start getting into this new world. It's like you're, you're at home by yourself teaching. And it is, it can be a little bit isolating for, for people. I, I totally understand that. And uh, hats off to you for, for, doing the podcast, one, for sharing some of your honest struggles. And with that in mind, you know, I've sort of pulled up a few of the titles of some of your podcast episodes. And I wasn't going to start with this one, but why don't we? One of them is, uh, (laughs) 
you all aboard the VIP kids struggle bus. So <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wondered if you could share what are some of those struggles? What were some of the struggles that you face or faced? Yeah. Well, okay. So it's kind of a long story, that one. Um, <laughs> so this that was the last episode of my summer series. Um, and this summer was pretty crazy for me. Um, my husband is in the military. And so we had to move from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast with a one-year-old baby and a dog all by ourselves. So we had to kind of just pack everything up into this giant trailer and move across the country. Um and so I had to obviously take some time off of teaching. Um, and then we got to South Carolina where we are now. And our house was um, a fixer upper, as HGTV would put it. Uh, <laughs> and so we had a lot of work to do. Um, and so I had to take more time off than I expected. Uh, and then when I tried to jump back into teaching, I just, I felt like I was on a struggle bus and I felt like I should share it. Uh, it took a little while for my bookings to come back and the hours, of course, they're always hard, but they're especially hard when you get off of that schedule. Uh, you're not used to waking up at four in the morning anymore, especially when you trans transition from mountain time to Eastern time. So there's also a time zone difference, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and so that struggle bus was, a combination of those things, uh, not getting bookings, crazy hours, all of my move and having to do house renovations. And I knew I wasn't the only one who has gone through this experience, probably not the same exact experience, but we've all been on the struggle bus at some point. And so I just, I felt like I should share it. And that's why I did. <laughs> And it's, it's amazing that you did because you're totally right. People may not be in the exact same situation, but, you know, we share some of these struggles. For example, you know, I've just had some leaking happening into my classroom. So uh, currently, as I'm looking up at my ceiling, the roof has a giant hole in it or the ceiling has a giant hole in it. It disrupted my whole classroom for about 10 days. So it's still not fixed. Like that's something that I'm trying to navigate, having to last minute move my classroom into another room. And, you know, just for the for the sake of sharing one of my struggles, um, with the time change that just happened recently, um, you know, the clocks went back an hour for us in North America. And then on top of that, I found myself in, you know, that last hour of the day. Thank you so much for listening slash watching. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. And if you wanna see more or hear more, I guess hear more is more to the point. If you wanna hear more, head on over to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, basically anywhere where you can find a podcast and uh, look it up. It's extra credit with Teacher Michael. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, I will see you on the internet. Peace.